Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a very excited video because this is my first ever German video. I have been living here for almost two months so I'm very very excited to be sharing some of my experience here because today we're going to be talking about culture shocks that I've experienced while in Germany. Before I get started I just want to say that this is my opinion. Please if you're German or if you've ever lived here don't get offended if your experience has been different. Another thing is that this video is not meant to offend anyone. I get requests to film culture videos you seem to really enjoy them and if you find that I'm being harsh or anything this is like I said my experience I really am not trying to offend this video is just done for entertainment purposes so the first culture shock that I had was that Germans don't clap what I mean with that is that I'm currently attending university and I'm used to that you clap because you're acknowledging and you're thankful for the lesson that the professor gave to you here they do not clap, what they do is they grab their fist and they knock on the desk. A friend of mine told me that the reason they do that is so that they can continue taking notes um, while uh, clapping, well not clapping, they can continue writing notes while actually knocking on the desk, which is so interesting actually. I'm gonna be honest, I don't always like knock on the desk I find it weird and I still haven't gotten used to it I find it a lot more delicate to clap but that's just like my personal thing well that's not even my personal thing that's like the culture that's integrated in me but I'm probably going to get used to it very soon so the second culture shock that I had is the deposit that you have to pay for drinks most like plastic bottles some cans and even glass bottles have a deposit so when you buy like a bottle of water at the supermarket you're going to get charged anything from like 10 to 25 cents on deposit and what that means is that once you're actually finished with your bottle you're supposed to go back to the supermarket they have some machines i'll insert like a clip so you can see them and you put your bottles in there and, and the machine will give you the money that you paid on deposit back and you can use it to actually continue buying groceries um it's not a hard process or anything the only annoying thing is that sometimes some codes will not be accepted in certain machines so for example if i buy bottle waters in Aldi then they might not get accepted in pennies or Lidl I don't know I mean I've had that happen sometimes but to be honest it's not a huge deal or anything and going on with the same line of thought something weird is that well not weird but that shocked me is that drinks are expensive so besides beer if you buy like water or coca-cola and stuff like that while eating out you're gonna get charged a lot my friend got charged for example six euros for half a liter of um, water which to me that's very expensive in Italy you don't get charged usually more than two euros so while food is very affordable especially street food drinks are actually on the pricey side which I still don't understand why another culture shock that I had is that not all Germans speak English for some reason I was convinced that young, young Germans were going to be very fluent in English you do have some people that are very good with their English and you can actually tell that they're very fluent in it but not all Germans speak it even at the university there are a lot of young guys who do not speak a single word of English which for me that was a very huge culture shock because usually university students tend to have the basic knowledge of it and also signs are in German when I arrived at Hamburg like the exit sign the elevator signs and instructions everything was in German and as a tourist I'm actually used to them being also in English so that tourists can actually move um, easier around the city so that actually shook me a lot because I was there and I just really wasn't understanding what the sign said a cultural shock that I feel like is going to get me a little bit of hate is that Germans don't apologize so I'm pretty sure that it's in their culture and they don't do it to be mean or anything they just don't even realize they're doing it but sometimes Germans have pushed me stepped on my feet and stuff like that and they don't acknowledge you I'm used to that if I invade someone's personal space then I will apologize for actually I don't know pushing them and stuff like that but here I've noticed that Germans don't really do that which is kind of weird for my culture background I'm gonna be honest I don't think they're doing it with hard intentions I just think it's the way that they're used to maybe they don't acknowledge themselves when they like push each other because the thing is it's not that they look at you and they feel bad or anything it's just they don't even look at you they don't acknowledge that they hit you they don't acknowledge that they stepped on you so that was like the the biggest culture shock that I had another thing which is very ignorant on my behalf but and 
I knew about like sauerkraut and like sausages and all of that but and also beer but I had no idea that they have such amazing bakery anything that comes from bakery is very good they have such amazing bread and rolls and like pretzels and sweet desserts and cakes it's so good if you ever come to Germany go into the like their bakery shops and just try cakes and salted stuff because it's very very good and also they have such a nice selection of cheeses I'm a big cheese person and their cheeses are so 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 good oh my gosh cheese and bakery all the way like I'm not a sausage person so I really don't like that but their cheese and their sweets and their bakery is just driving me insane it's so 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 good I'm gonna try to insert some pictures if I can find them but it's just it's delicious I just I'm a foodie person you can tell by the way I'm talking how much I love food and for me it's very good another thing that I was very blown away was how hard German actually is. I speak a lot of languages, so I'm fluent in English, Spanish, Italian, and I also have a B1 certificate in French, so I don't have a hard time learning languages. And I've also studied Greek and Latin, so I have quite a, like the background with languages. And German is the only language that actually gives me a headache. Well, not anymore, but the first days when I was taking my intensive German course, like German would give me such a strong headache. And it's just so hard and different. To be fair, the thing that I feel like was probably giving me my headaches is also the fact that I'm actually encountering so many international students, which means that I'm speaking so many different languages and I'm also hearing so many different languages very fastly. So maybe one second I would be speaking English, the, second, uh, the next second I would speak Spanish and then Italian and also I would hear German and also languages which I don't even know what they're speaking. So for me, that was a very like strong experience, which is incredible. I love it. It just means that you get to actually meet, encounter and actually like talk with so many different people but it was also very hard on the first days because you have so many different faces you obviously have the stress of moving and you also have the stress of the classes and the lectures even though it's very stressful I absolutely love it it's a very incredible experience and I'm very grateful for being in actually in Germany and having the possibility to study here another thing one that I'm going to mention that it's not a culture shock or anything is that they're very laid back I actually really like that um, because I don't know it's just it gives you like nice relaxing vibes because they're not I don't feel like they're very stressed people and I actually really like that I really hope you liked the video and that it was helpful and you had fun watching it I had a lot of fun filming it and I really hope to see you guys next time if you did enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe um, comment and tell me if you've ever been to Germany and what your experience was I really like your comments I get some very insightful comments so I really hope to see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye.